Alright, this is RGH off of the Gaming Flake. And Tommy Shenning or the One Hexor off of YouTube. And first off, I'm going to apologize for my audio for the first part of the video. My uh, camera's acting up for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah. Uh, so today I'm going to teach you how to RGH your Xbox. First off, you're going to want to take your Xbox all the way like this. And, um, yeah, a few things, but I'll show you in the second part of the video where you can buy those. You're going to need a, a Neandex, which looks like this. And it comes with all sorts of cables and such. And you need a cool runner chip, which looks like this. A soldering, a soldering, and then probably a hot food. If not, I guess you could use masking tape or something. Just hold down the wires so that they don't flop around inside your Xbox. And it's secure points where you saw it too. Um, but yeah. So, this is the sort of cool runner that's like uninstalled from Xbox. You got points here. The first one starting from by the top is your 3.3 volts. Second one is ground. Third one is A, B, C, D, E, and F. We're only going to be using 3.3 uh, volts, ground, A, B, C, and D. We're not going to be using E and F. Um, this also has a switch for slim and fat. It doesn't matter what you have it on. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a slim Xbox or a fat Xbox. If you have a slim Xbox, it can work better on fat. If you have a fat Xbox, it can work better on slim. It just depends on um, what you get better results with. And then on the side, you got your normal slash program switch, which normal is for when you're using it and it's installed in the Xbox. Program is for when you're program programming it. And then um, you also have these pins down here, which is where you're connected to your NAT. And you connect it to this, this big port. But yeah. Um, so when you, um, I'm gonna, I guess I'll run through kind of where the side of the wires and also show you where you can get pictures of like high def pictures of where you solder to. So the first wire is the thing in 3.3 volts which goes right next to the go around that red wire. It goes in that vicinity. And then your next wire is A. It'll be or your next wire will be your ground which you will wire. I'll take a focus. You will solder to your um, audio and video out casing on your Xbox or any like one of these where it's ground. Um, your next, port, your next uh, point is A, which will go to the bottom of the Xbox. It is a oops, a green wire, which all the wires should be cut so that they're exactly like. There's some of the length you need. So you're going to do this hole, which is on the top of the You're going to run your three wires through there. Um, so yeah, the green wire, it goes, I put it down over here. It goes right underneath the CPU in this area, which again, I'll show you where they go in high res pictures. Oh, there we can get those pictures. Uh, but uh, I have Haku covered in mind so it doesn't come on them accidentally and so it doesn't make contact with any other points. And the next point is E, which in the picture, I'll show you put it somewhere right, um, right in here. I don't want the camera focus. It'll go right, goes right next to the ship. This one. And I just don't like using that point because. I've messed up so many times on that and broken so many Xboxes from that, so I don't even need that point because that point's easy to lift off the board. 
accident. But it didn't say you know, the point, but it's just on the back of the board. It is it's this blue wire, it goes right here. Which yeah, again I'll have another picture of the alternate pin. And then after B we have wire C, which is the yellow wire. Which also goes through that hole. And um that we go down around right to the other side of the CPU. Sorry for the camera being so shaky, it's a webcam. It goes right here. Which I guess you can see through the hot glue. It goes to this like bottom-ish point. And then we got our D point, which is it's a piece of cable. It doesn't need to be 50 or well. It doesn't need to be, but for it to work properly, it has to be 50 centimeters, which means that it's really long. It's this blue wire, we're going to follow it, it goes all the way around, underneath here, and back over to right here, which, um, maybe I'll have another picture of that. But that's basically all you need to solder. Just uh, when you solder, make sure they're not touching each other to make sure they're not touching anything else. They don't have to be soldered really good because uh, we're going to be taking them out at the end. And yeah, and one great part is do not turn on your Xbox while you have your NAND. So to read your NAND successfully, you have to your cable plugged in to your Xbox. But just make sure you can turn on the, the Xbox or anything like that because if you turn on your Xbox and your index is plugged in, um, it could possibly fry an index or any other reader that you're using, like the index or the JRunner programmer, which I have one here somewhere. I don't remember where I put it, but yeah. Um, that is, that's all I'm going to cover in this part. Um, I'll see you on the, com on the computer. Okay, here's my JRunner. This is JRunner programmer. I just, I don't use it because it's, I don't know, I just don't use it. I find it next way. But yeah, I'll see you on the computer in the next part of the video. Alright, see ya. Alright, so we're back over from the Xbox, uh, back on the computer. Um, okay, so first off, you're going to... Yeah, this is my the gaming flake and my YouTube. So you're gonna wanna download the JRunner version two eight eight beta. Just click right here. I have it right here. And then download whatever dashboard you're on. And uh yeah. Alright, then I downloaded that. So, now to install the dashboard into JRunner, you're going to want to open this. You're going to want to select these two, or all these files. And, uh, I guess you can't copy them. But you're going to want to go into your... Uh, go into your JRunner folder and then you're going to want to drag all these into here 
and then if this shows up, click replace, and I'm just gonna skip because I already got them installed. And then, yeah, okay, so you installed your dashboard into your JRunner program, and then you, now you have to install your drivers. For this, you go to Device Manager, and have your Nandex plugged in. Just have your uh, have your Nandex plugged in before you do this, and it'll show up under here under your, like uh, I don't even know what that says. And then USB devices, and it'll show up as memory device. If you don't have the the drivers installed, then you just click right click and click update driver software, and browse my computer for driver software, and then you browse to this this folder Nand Pro underscore twenty drivers. Then 64 sign and click OK. Then click Next and it'll say installed. And then, yeah. But you're going to have to, if you're on Windows 8, you're going to have to disable driver certification. Just, uh, you can Google how to do that or YouTube it. It's not that hard, but I just, I don't want to feel like going through that. And then, um, also, here's where you can buy all the stuff. I think I closed it. You go to xconsoles.com and you're going to want to buy a Team Executor Cool Runner chip, which is like 20 bucks. And then you're going to want to buy the Team Executor Nandex RGH Edition. The reason you want to buy the RGH Edition is because it comes with this cable and the cables you solder into your Xbox. And all these quick solder cable or uh, quick solder things, I guess. And then uh, these make it a lot easier. And it also comes with the cable to connect to your computer, this low loss cable, and the update cable for the Nandex, which is normally like another ten dollars or something like that. But yeah, this is in case you ever have to update your Nandex to a new firmware that comes out. But I haven't. There hasn't been one since I got mine. I got mine right after they updated it, like a year ago. But yeah, you're gonna want to buy this and then the Cool Runner, which is right here. And then from that, it comes out to like sixty bucks plus shipping. So yeah, um, now you're gonna want to go into J Runner and select your Xbox type that you have, which is, mine's a Falcon. And then click read NAND, and it'll read the NAND, it'll, it'll go, uh, it'll say version 03, which is the latest version, blast configuration, and I'll say what type, of, what type of Xbox you have, a Falcon. And it'll tell you where it reads it to. It'll read it to the output folder. And mine has an error reading these blocks, but it's no big deal. It'll fix it after it reads the second one. And see, after it reads the second one, it'll say done. It takes about two minutes for each one, and it'll compare them, make sure they're the same. And it says, I have a whole bunch of bad, bad blocks, which it'll fix, and it says, bad blocks remapped. And then it'll compare them, and it'll say NAND's the same. And then after that, you're going to want to make sure you have your Nandex plugged into your cool runner. And you're going to want to make sure this says what, what type of Xbox you have and click Flash Cool Runner. Then you click Falcon. Then you click OK. I'm going to click Cancel because mine's already programmed. You want to click Create ECC, which is basically Excel Reloaded. Which is, it's kind of like the BIOS for your Xbox, it'll, it'll tell you your CPU key and your DVD key, which can be used for flashing, or we're going to use a CPU key for RGHing. Which is, um, basically, 
exploiting in your Xbox so that you can run unlicensed content like uh, XEX Menu and uh, Freestyle Dash and other stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so uh, after you do all this, you create the ECC. Make sure your dash is dashboard selected before you create it. And RGH and then glitch. And then you go into here, you go to here, and put this to DVD eject, which it'll probably already be there. And I just like this one because it's a lot easier. You can boot into Excel from your wireless controller by just holding X while your Xbox is off. And then you click OK. And then you write your ECC, which will basically put it, like, burn it to your Xbox, so like, uh, install the, the file to your Xbox. And then once you put it in that, you want to write down your CPU key, which will be displayed on your TV. But make sure when you do this, you have your DVD drive plugged in and everything plugged into your Xbox. But make sure you unplug your Nandex because if you turn on your Xbox while your Nandex is plugged into your Xbox, it'll fry your Nandex. Or well, it can possibly do it, but I haven't had it happen yet. But I haven't really turned on my Xbox with it in on purpose. So yeah, after you have your CPU key, you're gonna want to put it in right here, and it's gonna be like it'll take a, it'll go all the way to like right here. And I think it's like 26 characters or something like that. I don't remember. You want to click Create Image, which will um, create your glitched image, so that you can, so it'll like, it'll bypass the the security on the Xbox to allow you to boot unlicensed content. And then you want to write it to your NAND. When writing it to your NAND is, it'll just uh. It basically just installs it to your Xbox. So then after that, you're all set. You can turn on your Xbox. It'll it'll boot up to like it'll look like the normal dashboard, but it'll be glitched. So you can uh, install use XX Menu. And now I'm going to show you how to install XX Menu. You're going to want a flash drive that's got at least 200 megabytes formatted to Xbox for because I because that's the minimum I think you can do and you're gonna want horizon which takes a little bit to open but yeah you want to go to device explorer and go under demos and click inject new file and then you go to the, you navigate to this the code 9999 open that open that and double click on this and mine's saying overwrite because I already have it on there but it'll it'll move it on and then once it moves it on you're good you're you can put like rip all your games and stuff and put them on your Xbox hard drive whatever and um I'll have links to download all this stuff in the description, and also some uh, of the website for Freestyle Dash. I'll make another video later on how to install that. But yeah, this is again this is RGH off of the Gaming Flake, and this is also Tommy Shining or the One Hexer off of YouTube. And yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, subscribe, um, like like my post on the Gaming Flake, whatever. Post a comment saying, like, if you have any questions or saying thank you if I helped you. Uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, see you guys later.